Joe Biden and Sarah Palin, the vice presidential candidates, will square off in a debate Thursday night at Washington University in St. Louis. And we decided we wanted to learn a little bit more about Sarah Palin, so we visited with her parents in Wasilla, Alaska. This is Sarah Palin country, and a visit to her parents' home is a little like being in a natural history museum. Everything in here has a story, and this is my best find, what I consider my best find ever. This one right I here. found this summer um, gold mine. It's called a steppe bison, and they went extinct about the time of the mammoths. Really? And uh, the mammoths went uh, extinct, oh, eight, ten thousand 10,000 years ago, and we found him uh, frozen in the permafrost. People who haven't been here, I'm not sure they get Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live here and experience it. Yeah. You've got some serious antlers working here. These are all, uh, people say, gee, do you shoot all those? No, those are all sheds. You know, antlers are shed. Oh, of course. Sh this is a lot of, lot of antlers. Chuck and Sally Heath moved to Alaska from Idaho 44 years ago. I told Sally we'd come up for one year. I knew better, but we'll try it for one year, <laughs> and uh, which a lot of guys tell their wives, so here we are. What did you think? Uh, I was all game for an adventure. It was going to be a challenge with three tiny kids at the time, but we were willing to do it young and dumb. The he's third child, Sarah, was outspoken and competitive. Did you have a sense what she was going to be when she grew up? No, she sure didn't give us an indication it would be politics. From mayor of Wasilla to governor of Alaska, and now a vice presidential nominee, Sarah Palin's sudden appearance on the national scene has been celebrated and increasingly criticized. And they're digging and digging for the the bad side, yeah, and there is no real bad side. They're fabricating a lot of things which I don't want to go into, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that hurtful to you as parents? Very. Mm -hmm. Very mostly uh, because you know how it affects the kids. And they're worried about what the future might hold. I'm concerned about how the kids will adapt to it back living in Washington, D.C. Because they're Alaskans. They snow machine and they ski and they do all these things here. Not too many snow machines in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Despite having braved the wilds of Alaska for four decades, nothing has quite prepared them for the storm of attention that has followed Sarah. <sighs> Did you see it coming? The so. governorship has finally s sunk in. But this VP, it hasn't sunk in at all yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seemed like a dream almost. Yeah, yeah, a dream or fantasy. Yeah, mm. yeah. Good dream or bad? Dream? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I hope it's going to be a good dream. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a good dream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's never let us down yet. Yeah. Yeah, as they say, you almost have to uh, be from Alaska, or at least go there to uh, get it, to really understand it. And I really want to thank uh, Chuck and Sally Heath for uh, uh, opening up uh, their home to us over the weekend and giving us the opportunity to visit, guys. Yeah. Did they talk about how difficult it is to hear their daughter be the butt of so many jokes ever since she stepped out into the national spotlight? <laughs> Well, you know, it was interesting because uh, we talked to Chuck about that. He saw the at least first episode from Saturday Night Live, and he said that he thought Tina Fey did a, a good job. I'm not so sure they would have appreciated uh, this past Saturday night's episode. Though. Yeah, I agree. All right, thanks a lot, Harry.